Oh, Rock and Roll Chica, how can he reporting for the festival? So, today I'm trying to do something a little different. Well, you see, this whole time since last year, I only did the tune by myself as much as I can, except for that one time, which... Uh... N Nook wins the time attack challenge. Well, because he is the only one who participate. <laughs> uh, well, I want to do something a little different. Well, you see, since I don't have much audience right now, I'm just going to pick a random car with a random tune and well. Try to see how it works, and then, you know, see what what it has, and I can see, I can try to, you know, to fix it somewhere along the way with the tune. So yeah, the thing that the way it works is well, okay, there's a wheel spin. I'm just going to wheel spin that one time and see if I can get another five thousand this time around. Really now? Okay, twenty thousand. I need to close this notification bar. There's a lot of them. God damn it! Yeah. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, so I have seven hundred and six cars, right? Well, let's start start narrowing down by the manufacturer first. There are one hundred and nine registered manufacturer on my garage here i'll randomize it with the random number generator which i have right here i hope you can see it and i'll press it 10 times and see where we land basically let's do that first so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Number 98, so, so, 1, 6, okay, 5, 10, so we're going to use an, the only car that we have, the Ultima. So the plan was, if there are more than one car, like Fox Hall here, on the side, I'll randomize it again, but because there's one car, I don't need to because... What? Um, right, wrong button. Um, because if I try to generate one... No matter how I... how much I click it... It's only going to end up on one. So that was the plan, but... <laughs> looks like we're going to stop with the Ultima. All right. That said, let's go to the garage and well, I'm just go to festival. So right now, we are going to pick a tune. I'm not sure if I already tuned this car. I'll check it first before I tune it. Just making sure. Okay, I haven't tuned it at all, so... Now... I have to do is find a new tune. But... I'm not going to tune it so easily. So I'm going to rely on... This again. Pick around 30 and generate it up to 10 times again. 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to pick 2 number 24 and start counting from here, which is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 12, 13? There is only 13 tune. What? Okay, maybe next time I should check. So, <laughs> let's redo that because 13. 
One, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, to number five. One, two, three, four, five. I am dead because it's an X class. <laughs> All right, so what do we get from here is a fully maxed out car, it seems. I think. Download and install. Let's see what we get. Okay, some sweat is going to my eyes. <sighs> Ow. So what do we get from here, I wonder. Right, let's see what the, the guy has done to the car. So it's still a very real drive, it's an X-Class. Not much change aside from wake reduction, I'm not sure what it already done. So let's try to drive it a little bit before we go to the pins of pincher again and see how it performs on there. I don't think there is a suspension modification for drifting for this car, so... Mm, seems pretty tame. So I'm not sure what the guy did to this car. I'm not even paying attention to who uploaded the tune yet. So I'll probably going to put a big text around here somewhere to make sure that's the guy tune that I use. Let's see. Suspension seems pretty soft on the rear. There is no run off area as well, I forgot about that. So suspension doesn't seem to hmm, I'm kinda worried a little bit because I don't know what's inside the tune at all. So let's just go to the Pins of Pincher. And. Well. Let's see how it performs around there. So I can see the problem immediately when I try to drive it. Someone is throwing their car into the lake. Just another day in Forza, I guess. So. Right. This is going to be interesting because I don't know what the car does a lot. And well, I mean it the owner obviously doesn't do much with the car, that's one thing. But that also makes me a little worry because Well, I don't know what it inside. <laughs> so yeah. Hopefully it's not too terrible, but Wow, this car is so low compared to the other cars. I mean, it's even lower than the Mustang. And um, right, let's see how it performs on the Pins of Pincher. I mean... Okay, so the guy seems to make sure it has less brake pressure. Pretty nice tune. But it can go off or steer if I try to do something. Ooh, wow. Okay, maybe I took that corner wrong, but it, I hope it's not what I think it is because it seems very understeery. Yeah, this guy is. Oh god, no. Did this guy just turn the understeer into the max? Because every time I try to throttle it, it goes straight up. Like, I have to press the brake if I want to turn. I mean, on the. F Ooh, wow, okay, there is, there's the other steer. Yeah, my. Yeah, my suspicion were, uh, were correct. Ooh, okay, that was my bad, more than anything, but... 
Yikes! That understeer. I wonder what the guy calls this tune. Because I just pick things randomly. I have to break if I want to turn in. No kidding. Wow, okay. What the hell did he put into this? I wonder. Because... This car doesn't want to turn nicely. Because it, the suspension seems to be too soft for the car, it seems. Maybe it's a drag tune? I don't know. Oh, god damn it. I mean, when a car catch up this fast... I mean, well, there's an error on my end as well. But I cannot fully blame myself because I don't know how the cars handle before I drive. Like, seriously, what's going on? If I try to give it a little bit of a throttle when I'm trying to turn, it's trying to up the car. Like, what is going on with the car? That doesn't feel right at all to me. Wow. And I cannot trust this car that much that one thing. but yeah I couldn't trust this car that's for sure because the car doesn't behave really nice it understeer a lot. I can notice that miles away at this point. I mean, I could blame my aggressive driving in a way, but this is this is awful. I mean, like, what the hell did this, this guy do? Maybe it's a drag car. I can hear another car back behind me. Oh god, no. I have a feeling this is a drag car more than anything. I mean... No, don't stick my ear and I know it's sexy, but Yeah, don't do that. It's rude. Ooh the understeer is terrible. Oh wow! Really? Now every single car just going to overtake me at this point because the understeer just killed this car. Maybe I just have a little bit of a different taste in driving. I don't know, but this car is so understeer. Theory. I just have to slow down a lot. See? I have to break there. Just try it using the same tune that I'm using. You will break. And I missed the checkpoint, of course.
Oh, there is so someone as well that needs the checkpoint. Alright then. But, you see, the understeer is... make me a little bit paranoid around the corner. Because I cannot push the car. And this car is really fast. Maybe it's, it is a drag car? Oh god. There is another car that missed this checkpoint. Okay, it, it's already gone. Oh! I mean, yes, awesome J turn. I don't need a J turn when I'm drive racing or doing a time attack, basically. But seriously, what? I have a suspicion this car would be better for a drag race. Let's try to cut it off on the festival and see what they put in here because. It's not nice for racing in curves in corner. It doesn't corner really well. I'm I have a suspicion this car is supposed to be a drag racer. Not compatible for the horizon for multiplayer surface found. Oh of course. <sighs> Whatever. So right, let's see. I'm just going to, going to gut it and see what's inside. So, yep, it it has the brakes there, suspension, rally spring, rally spring, really? I mean roll bar, no roll bar, of course, of course. What the hell is this built for then? I wonder. Okay, I'm pretty sure this thing is maxed out. This is surprising. Considering it's, it's a suggested tune. Why is this a thing? Okay, tire is still a race tire compound. So not, nothing changed there. It's not widened. Well, that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's already pretty big. No body kit at all. Yes, we. Okay, of course you can remove that, but. Well, why? Confirmation? Yeah, well, he doesn't do anything about that. So. What the hell is this thing supposed to do? I really don't like this tune at all because it's just a rally spring for adjustment, but. They don't change the, the stiffness, well, softness, if I may say, of the spring. Like, what the hell is this guy thinking? Um, right. And it doesn't even change it to the drag tire, if I remember correctly, right? Um, let me do a quick thing here. I don't think he did change anything. Yep, he didn't. So what the hell was he thinking? Uh, so who is this guy? It's in my suggested tune. So the creator is not Natsu. So obviously Natsu. Natsu, Natsu, I don't know. He really need to fix this. Because I'm pretty sure this is a troll tune that somehow got in the suggestion. Because I used the suggestion tune, right? So... Why was he... What was he thinking with this car? You know... Maybe I judge a little bit too much. Maybe he... You know... He was... New on tuning? Just like I back when I still knew, 
So probably the other two that I have would be terrible for me these days. But I am baffled with this because it doesn't feel nice at all. Let's try it again. Okay, it seems like it's a drag tune with my style compound. Uh, maybe that's my guess because it launched pretty well. Considering how well it is on launch. Ooh, okay. That's scary. Don't touch the dirt. If I try to touch that, I'll die. Not even the top speed isn't that great at all. It still turns though. On a small turn like that, but. Hmm. I don't know what was he thinking, but. How come that's a suggestion? 